It still has all the bullet holes in it. Uh, still covered in blood. Uh, it's ripped in the back here. Retired Navy SEAL Senior Chief Mike Day shows me body armor that helped protect him in a battle with al-Qaeda terrorists in Iraq. What, what is this here? Talk about this. Well, this is uh, what we call an LBE, load-bearing equipment. So this is what you carry, your radio in, your magazines. And it's actually uh, loaded up pretty much the way it was that night. That night in April 2007 in Anbar province, Day's team of Navy SEALs and Iraqi scouts were on the hunt for a high-level al-Qaeda cell. He says the terrorists had shot down helicopters. Being the first to enter a 12 by 12 room where four al-Qaeda leaders waited to strike proved to be almost deadly. As soon as I entered the room, they opened fire and I lost my rifle. I transitioned to my pistol and I killed the guy down the left wall as I was coming off my feet and I landed right next to him. When the gunfight was over, Day took out all four terrorists in the room, but not before being shot 27 times and hit with grenade shrapnel. So all of this equipment you were wearing the night that you got shot 27 times? Correct. Day first shared his miraculous story with CBN News six years ago. Now he has a new book called Perfectly Wounded, a memoir about what happens after a miracle. He says the title came from a comment made by an emergency room doctor. So he got to see all manner of gunshot wounds, stab wounds. I mean, he saw, if you work in the ER, you get to see all that mm -hmm. stuff. True. And I was explaining to him where I'd been shot, and his response was, well, you were just perfectly wounded. Do you believe that God spared your life? Yeah, I do. I, a lot of people will look at that, that whole gunfight. No, you got shot 27 times and walked away from it. You're, you're here for a reason. I think I'm just starting to find out that I actually am. I look at my the rest of my life and how protected I've been. Uh, I haven't talked to these people, my guardian angels, or uh, but I've almost died and died multiple times, and I'm still here. What do you hope people take away from the book? Maybe a maybe a way to help build resiliency, and I don't want to give advice. I don't. I just, I'm like, this is, this is how I did it. That's pretty much what the book's about. How I suffered uh, trauma like everybody's going to and how I built the resiliency to get, get through the next one. Although Day doesn't want to give advice, he does offer this to those who may deal with tough times in their own lives. If all you do is sit on a couch and watch TV and eat bad food, when something really bad happens, you don't have the training. You don't have the practice. Uh, to get through that and it, it can become overwhelming and it's going to dump you into a hole. So it's just a mindset of uh, training and practicing to build resiliency. And that means getting up and working out, to push yourself just a tiny bit. Uh, I like to end my showers with cold water. Uh, knocks the steam down in the room and it also provides that shock. And I think if you practice physical resiliency, it's going to also build your psychological resiliency and vice versa. Before writing the book, Day spent his life giving back. He worked at the U.S. Special Operations Command Warrior Care Program, also called the Care Coalition, helping service members. He's also taught free fall to military personnel and special operations urban combat to SEAL teams. Senior Chief Day is also in the process of starting a nonprofit organization called Warrior Tribe. It will provide resiliency education for young people, veterans, and trauma survivors. The retired Navy SEAL is also considering running for governor of Virginia because of his concern that constitutional rights are being taken away. Yeah, very preliminary. I don't really want to do it. Um, but when I get scared, and I'm kind of scared right now what I'm watching. When I get scared, I go fight. I don't, I don't cower. I... My fight or flight reflex tells me to go fight. And I'm, I'm kind of scared right now about what's going on. Day definitely did not cower that night in 2007 in Iraq when he nearly lost his life. Uh, Why is it important to you to keep this? Because uh, I want to be able to remember. I mean, it's a, it's a treasured possession of mine because it helps me remember and no more. And I don't, I don't want to forget it. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for your service too as well, most definitely. Oh, gee, I got kicked out of high school. I had nothing else to do.
No, no, it's <laughs> very honorable, your service. Well, I'm lucky I got to do it. <laughs> Mark Martin, CBN News, Virginia Beach.